Tomorrow, a highly anticipated horror film, three years in the making, is released. It's called Demon House, and the man behind it all is someone you likely are already familiar with, Zach Bagans. And just to be totally transparent, in the 7 a.m. hour, we aired part one of my interview with Zach about mm -hmm. this house that was so full of reported demonic activity that he eventually had it bulldozed. And he said that anybody connected to this film in any way uh, has had issues, whether it's health or something going wrong. And we can't air part two right now as planned because our editing and playback system has crashed. So we're going to re-air part one where he talks about the disclaimer that viewers will see before they watch anything connected to this film. This is what it all comes down to. There was a face. It doesn't want me, it wants you. I once again find myself with Zach Bagans in the Haunted Museum, this time not specifically talking about the museum, but Demon House, which opens this week. And it's good to see you again. Good to see you, Jeff. I, I must say I've seen your documentary film three times now. And maybe I shouldn't have done that. Three times. <laughs> three times. That's an interesting number, too. Yeah. And at the beginning of this film, there's a disclaimer that says view at your own risk. And that's why I say maybe I shouldn't have watched it so many times, but it's that compelling. Let's talk about that disclaimer. Why view at your own risk? I don't use that as like a, a, a marketing ploy or something like that. When I first arrived to investigate this case, um, I was intrigued by how many credible sources there were to experience things. And these were with people that, that, that didn't have anything to gain by coming out and saying this. These were police officers, captains, chiefs of police from three different jurisdictions, child protective services, everyone. Um, but Captain Charles Austin with the Gary Police Department looked at me in my eyes and he said, the forces inside this house affect men electronically and women physically. And as I started investigating, and this was over the course of three years, I started noticing that these forces had the power to manipulate electronic devices, change the settings in two different DVR systems and security systems that we put in the house. The owner of that company for 30 years says he's never seen anything like that. And for that to happen mm -hmm. at two different systems, cell phones, everything. It was as if they were using these electronic devices and, and could manipulate them and could travel through electricity and, it was really bizarre, but whenever I spoke about these forces, things would happen around me and others. And mm -hmm. that's why I say, whenever I'm talking about it, whenever I was watching it, editing the film, things would happen to me, around me, and other people. Demon House will be shown in select theaters across the nation. It's available for download on iTunes and other streaming sites. And I don't want to accept the blame for what happened with our editing and playback server, but I did spend several hours yesterday uh, putting all this together, and it's not working. It crashed, and, and we're not going to be able to show a part bit two. Further away from you. <laughs> I understand. I understand, but you can see that on my Twitter.